welcome to the first episode of the Blase Show. The host is Blase Chris, a.k.a. Christopher Robinson, a.k.a. the banger, a.k.a. the man that can do everything. <laughs> it's like, no, today, the first episode, I would like to call it Rapper 101 because it's a crazy week for the music industry this week. A lot of mainstream artists flopped this week. Um, the only the only artist that didn't flop this week, guess, guess who it is? Lil Baby. Take me to the bank. I can take it to the bank. I can take it to the bank. Lil Baby is the hottest artist of this week. I'll put it on anybody. T Grizzly dropped the album this week. You know how much he sold first week? 19K. Oh, that's a flop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But like, I mean, T Grizzly was never really a high performing selling artist, really. The most he ever sold, I think, was like 30K. I'm not talking about his uh, first day out thing. That, that don't count as the first one hit home wonder to me. Who else Who else flopped this week? Who else flopped this week? Um, I think 6 9 can flop. He just went platinum this week, so he ain't flopped. Um, A Boogie flopped. Deluxe album flopped. Usually, deluxe albums, they come out because of labels. They be like, yo, streaming went down. We need some more money, so can you drop a deluxe album? A Boogie was like, yeah, I drop a deluxe album. And it flopped. Capital F. You know who else flopped this week that I was surprised that flopped? John Legend. The person that my mother's listened to. He flopped. R&B legend, John Legend, flopped, capital F. The reason why I'm bringing all this up, because it's not, it's not just a matter of having everybody's attention to perform high. It's not, not just having everybody's attention to get them album sales. I would like, I mean, mostly I just wanted to get into about, like, if you're an upcoming rapper and you just starting. I'm going to tell you what everybody is going to charge you $100 to tell you, starting from where to get your rap name from all the way to releasing your first album. So without further ado, we can get into all the flops and all that later, but for now, we can talk about how you can be a rapper. Anybody can be a rapper. Let me, I don't know if you heard me or not. Let me repeat myself. Anybody can be a rapper. So we're going to start off, we're going to start off with the first slide, the first talking point is that there's no step-by-step -step procedure to being a successful rapper. I mean, it's artists like, it's artists like Jay-Z that took 20 years to get to his point. And then it's a lot of other artists that, that like Little Pump that like blows up in like six months out of like nowhere. And like Little Mosey, like... It's 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 not it's not like it's not like A B and C like two plus four equals six. It's not that type of step by step procedure. It's a lot. I mean, it's a, it's more so like starting your own business. Like say if you're starting a lemonade stand, you want to make sure you have lemons and lemonade and all that before you go out in the corner saying lemonade. You know what I mean? So what would, what was your what would be your first what was the first thing you would do? The first thing the first product you will want to have before you open your lemons, lemonade stand, aka before you start releasing music. I would say um, you can, most people, they really, they really don't have a lot of creative starting out being a rapper. So trying to find a rapper name is like hard to do. <laughs> I mean, but unless, unless you have like a, a name set in mind, one thing that Post Malone did, he entered his name into a rap, rap name generator, and that's how he came up with his name, Post Malone, if you didn't know that. So if you, uh, if you want to be a rapper just, and you don't know what name to start with, go to Rap Generator on Google or anything, and I'm pretty sure you'll find it. What's the next step? What's the next step? Your music is your product. Your music is your cocaine. Your music is your McDonald's fries. Your music is your, what is the best way to put it? Your music is your footlong. 
your music is what is your call to action, is what people is is the action. I mean, for LeBron James, his his um his product is his sneakers. Like I mean, he plays basketball, so just just picture on how all that plays in the role to make one good brand, one good product, you know what I mean? Um, another thing that puts you ahead of a lot of people is having logos and designs. So, um, one thing before I get into this deep rabbit hole on how to be a rapper, it's not like, it's, you, it's two ways to go about it. It's two ways to go about it. You can either um, pay for everything as far as marketing, promotion videos and all that, engineering, producing the beats, or you can learn how to do it yourself from scratch. Me personally, I've, I've been I've been making music for about going on 10, 11 years. And to this point, to this day, I know how to make beats, edit videos, edit pictures, Photoshop, everything that you would think you would need to be an artist. I, I've, I've took the time to learn it. Now, am I the one to say that uh, everything is learnable? Everything's gonna be ABC on learning? No, no it's not, it's not, it's hard as hell. <sighs> but one thing you can get ahead of everybody that everybody think is they co too cool to do is YouTube. It, um, a lot of my producing skills, a lot of my engineering skills, a lot of my beat making skills, producing and beat making the same thing. Um, they all came from just YouTube and how to make a good beat <laughs> on FL Studio. Um, so, yeah, it's it really, it really, it really, it's really a return on profit when you learn how to make everything yourself. From how learn how to make everything yourself and everything, but it's nothing wrong with paying for everything. It's just not every person on earth has the money to buy for everything they want. Everybody knows that. So yeah, it's just a matter of determination. How much are you willing to learn? How much are you willing? How much time are you willing to give up to learn how to make a good beat? How much time are you willing to give up to make a good song? It's it's all up to you. If you're if you're nineteen or twenty, if you're if you're a young teenager or if you're a young adult and you and you and you're like in college and and you like and you don't know if you should taking music seriously, like drop out and focus on music or move to a different city to focus on music. Like, like, like everybody got different medications and they work different for different people. So it's the, it's the same thing. It's just a matter of you having control over your conscience. You not being, it's, it's all a matter of you not being a follower. If you, before, if you come into the rap game wanting to be a rapper and you were born a follower and you're like, a uh, addicted follower that follows band bandwagons, you're not gonna make it far. <laughs> Sorry to tell you, bud. But okay, let's keep moving on how to be a rapper, cause this episode is rapper one on one. If you just tuning in, hello, it's Blase Chris, your host of the Blase Show, where we get everything to facts, everything, everything, the simplicity, everything you hear in this podcast. Is going to be something beneficial that you can use to either make some profit to put in your pockets or to just be entertainment. Like, you might be at work right now and you need a couple hours to go past. So, I'm Blase is here to, to entertain you. Pause. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, we've talked about logos and designs. That's one thing to set you out as far to set you out is different to have somebody to be, when they see a certain picture or they see a certain font or they see a certain video template, they'll know it's you type thing. For example, um, when Worldstar posts a video and they put their, like, and they got their background on it and they got their logo on the corner, that's a perfect way of, of distincting your music, d distincting, I don't think that's the word. That's a good way to set yourself out from other artists because I mean I'm never I'm never gonna be here to knock any artist down, but I am here to point artists out on when they wrong. I am here to point artists out 
when they're wasting time thinking like, oh, yeah, you know how rappers be. But every day you wake up is a new day to make a new idea. Every day you wake up. That's all you have to think about. And content. Okay, so we not even, after content, I'm gonna show you how logos and designs and content can all play into your social media role and, and, and drive these social media apps to wherever you want them to. I mean, sis, the one, one way to, to learn about finesse and the internet, finesse and social media, is looking at people that's already doing it, 6 9 Easy one, easy, easy, finessing, finessing. I mean, like, he knew, he, he knew when he got on, when he got on live with uh, academics, he was pointing out how the music industry is. I wish I could have said that. If any other artists would have said that, they would have been like, oh, you just talking. <laughs> but like, it's, it's a, 6 9 is an awesome explanation on how you can play entertainment, how you can just play everything that a consumer desires into one Instagram video. And learning to do that and being able to complete that with consistency, you can do anything. But before we go anywhere, before we go anywhere, I would like to um, bring in one of our sponsors that sponsored the first episode. This episode is brought to you by Anchor, the free distribution service to your podcast. I'm going to tell you some things that make it so, so crazy. Like, I'm going to tell you something that make it so easy. Like, you can do it anywhere from your computer or your iPad or your phone. You can record right on your phone. They got music, royalty-free music that you can put in between, like, your thing in your podcast. And when you finish, they're just distributed for you for free. For free. When the last time it was a distribution service that actually... Supply the good service. And they did it for free. I think the last person that did that was MySpace. But I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't I wasn't really that old during MySpace, so I'm just shut up. So yeah, back back to um about so basically being a rapper and um driving everything from your Instagram page to your artist page, meaning driving everything from your Instagram to your Apple Music or Spotify, whatever your music is out on, to drive people from your social media sites to your latest release, you have to know what they need. You have to know what people need. Like, when Apple drop a new phone, it go crazy because they put a new piece of technology in there that they know that everybody would use and need at that time, like, at that generation. I mean... Everything, everything in his rap game has already been done, almost, almost. Everything basic in his rap game has already been done. The generation that, you, if you're my age, if you're around my age, and who the hell is calling me? Don't call me, man. If you're around my age, and you're growing up in this generation, and you're seeing the generation that was above us and the generation that was before them, they didn't accomplish they, 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 they wasn't as creative as we were. I'm sorry. It might just sound like a dumb statement. It might just sound like a selfish statement from my generation. But I'm keeping it a stack. The generation before us was scared of computers. They wasn't born with computers. They was either born before computers or they was born during computers. We was born after computers. So, like, what, what you got to say? We, 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 it can't get any higher than this. But look, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm sorry. I go down a lot of rabbit holes on the Blase show. <laughs> um, so next, the next step, how, so, okay. So you learn, you learn, you got your rap name. You understand that your music is your product. You learn how to make some logos and designs for your brand or your artist stage name. You you learn something about content so far, like as far as um, giving the people what they want and supplying something that they haven't seen before. The most unique points out the most. If you fall in line, you're going to be in line. <laughs> Easy, simple. 
So now we're going to talk about social media. I mean, we already talked about social media. We're going to talk about one strategy that you can use on social media, which I like to call it the troll game. You probably already know what it is when you're trolling the fuck out of social media. You can go from, I mean, like what I do, well, perf, one thing I personally like to do to troll on uh, social media is like when I'm on my timeline and I see like close friends, like, like one of my homeboys post a picture or something, I put some hard eyes under that bitch. <laughs> Not because I think he's cute in the picture. It's because like, it's funny, it's your trolling. Like we all remember being in middle school, sitting at the lunch table, joking on everybody. Now it's, it's on the fucking internet. It's the internet now. It's not middle school no more. It's the internet. You can open your phone and troll somebody. I'm about to comment some heart eyes right now. Matter of fact, no. Because we're going to get sidetracked. So, yeah, so just learn more about how people finesse in a troll game. Practice on your troll game. Troll other people. You can, the one thing you get good at trolling is to troll your household. <laughs> troll your house, household. Another word that will make you, that will help you understand what the troll game is, is sarcastic game. Be sarcastic as fuck. You don't know how many times people don't ask me a question and I was so sarcastic that I didn't even get, give them like no, I didn't even give them the right answer. I just was like, they was like, hey, Chris, what you should do, what should you do to play the game better? Um, first, first step, plug in the game. Second step, put some ice cream on your controller so when it gets hot, you can cool, like dumb shit. Dumb shit. Everybody know. Okay, next step, we already on the troll game. We, I'm, I'm giving it to you quick because the first episode not going to be that long. So I'm giving it to you quick. I hope you taking a game and, and after this podcast, you're going to apply it. You're going to apply it. And you're going up. Because 2020, we're going up. Sorry, fucked up enough, man. They're killing us. Man, it ain't not changing shit about these policies that's keeping us United States property. But who the fuck am I? What am I going to do? We just, I'm just another podcast. All we got to do is stick together. It's going to be all right. <laughs> but all right. So you want to be a rapper. You know how, you know, you got your music as a content. I mean, you got your music as a product. You got your logos and designs. You got your content. You understand social media. You understand how to troll to get people attention to drive them to where you want to drive them. So after you find out your rap name, and let's say... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm thirsty. You found out your rap name. You got social media handout. And I, I, I'm not just going to... I'm going to go more in depth to use your music as a product because it's not that simple. It's really not. Before, when I say... I, I don't... Now, one thing that I wish I would have done that had me backtracking recently, I wish I would have waited to release music until I was making music that I liked rather than making music that I thought the market would like. Those are two different things. Two different things. Sometimes they blend together. Sometimes everybody likes the same thing. But most of the time, you got to like what you like. You got to produce what you like. If you produce what everybody else likes, Everybody else is going to be like, he produced it to try to sound cool. And they're going to fucking bomb you. And they're going to be like, get the fuck out of here, man. Go, go Twitch. Go on Twitch. Oh, I'm about to get on Instagram Live. No, I'm not. Instagram Live. I'm going to do that on the next episode. We're not Instagram Live. Follow me on my social medias. At One Blaze Chris. It's not that hard. I don't got one of them dumbass usernames. It'd be like 410 Jug, Young Plays. Get that shit out of here, man. That shit's stupid. <laughs> okay, so you got everything around it. Now, basically, you just need to focus on making your first song, making your first 
feeling, making your first vibe. Don't try to, don't try to make your first song a cover song. That's some, that's some last generation shit. We don't do that no more. Ain't nobody doing no cover songs on fucking Justin Bieber no more. You doing cover songs on Lizzo, motherfucker? No. That's corny. No one does that anymore. It's not 2012. You're going to make, you're going to come up with an idea and you're going to make it good. Come up with your own fucking idea. Do not go off idea because, oh, I heard it on Twitter. No! Start with your own goddamn idea. Goddamn thieves. Hey, Pop Pop. Mr. Edgar, I'm in the middle of a podcast. You want to say hi? Hey. That's my father, guys. Okay, so we're going to finish. So you know how to do a step-by-step procedure. You know how to use your music as your product. You know how to make logo and designs. You know how to do social media. You know how to troll. Because if you don't know how to troll, how are you going to drive everybody to your music? How, how, how are you going to get everybody attention if you're just being like, check out my new single? Nobody don't do that no more. Nobody want to buy your CD. It's 2020. It's so easy to listen to music. So easy to make music. You think Tupac was dropping music monthly? Hell no. Back then when Tupac was out dropping music, he was dropping an album probably two, every two years. Picture that. You waiting on Tupac to drop an album, All Lies On Me, and it's going to drop 2025. What the hell? But that's not the point. After you find out your rap name, after you do all that, and you, and you start taking your steps towards making your first single or whatever you want to do as your first uh, debut. You know what I mean? So, say if you, say, one thing that we got to stop in 2020, 2021, whatever, whenever, whatever year y'all decide that this is fucking illegal, we have to stop stealing beats. Artists, stop stealing beats. Just because it says free does not mean it's goddamn free to put on streaming services to make money off of. I was, I, I'm not going to sit here and talk down on it like I wasn't stealing beats. I used to be a beat thief. I don't care. I admit it. The only reason I admit it now is because I know how to make all my beats now. I learned how to play piano. I learned how to use FO Studio. I learned how to do all that. But for y'all other rappers that like just stealing beats all goddamn day, you're going to jail. Because I'm going to call the police. I'm calling them right now. Stop doing it. Learn how to create something and stop trying to steal an idea. Because it's not cool, man. It's like you like yo, I'm getting I'm getting upset on this goddamn show. Okay, so your first so you wanna make you wanna take steps towards your first single. And instead of stealing a beat, you wanna create something. You wanna be buy we're not gonna talk about buying a beat because everybody can buy a beat. Buying a beat is not hard. Buying a beat is not a challenge. Making your own beat that fix your own preference. It's, that's a different type of high that you can get. Man, when crack was banging in the 80s and heroin was banging and all that, I wish they could have just created something. That's a better feeling. Personally, I feel like creating a beat from zero, turning the beat from this into something hard, that's, that's a different high that you can't get from no drug. I'm sorry. But that's not the point. So, step, so you want to make your own beats, basically. You want to make your own beats so you don't have to worry about stealing other people's beats. So you won't have to worry about trying to finesse. If you're trying to finesse the wrong things, you're going to get fucked. Capital F. So, one thing that's good, one thing that's beneficial to start using so you can start making your own beats is a website called Looperman. Do you know how many, did you know no stylists? No stylists? Oh, keep it a G, I told her no way, no 350s out of me. Oh. You know that, that, that loop, that song, that, that, that beat, that was made from, that, that loop was made from looperman.com. It's a royalty free service that you can use to download samples, drum kits, anything. 
anything for Beats. You can download it from Looperman and it's royalty free. All you have to do is make an account and the rest is up to you. All you have to do after you make an account after Looperman is find a good sample. And then after you find a couple samples that you like and you want to start, what, what, what software should you use? What software should you start using? I would prefer um, to make beats. Hmm, let me think. I'm sorry, I got spit. I think the best software to make beats for beginners, FL Studio, easy. Now, don't be one of the motherfuckers that bought, that spend your whole bag on FL Studio and you haven't even used it yet. It's 2020. It's a free trial, man. If you don't download that free trial, you know how many, you know how many songs I made off that free trial before I brought anything? Take my advice. Take my advice. Go download that free trial of FL Studio. Go do it right now. And thank me later. <sighs> okay, so you got your FOs. And then I'm not ready to teach you how to break down beats and all that. That's some whole, that's a real tutorial. If y'all want to see that, um, leave the like on the um, video on YouTube. Leave a like on this video. And I'll start doing tutorials on how to make bomb ass beats. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in on the first episode of the Blase Show. Please give me a feedback. I need it. Artists, all upcoming artists, all upcoming engineers, producers, everybody, get with me. Get with me. You want to get on this show and give everybody the game that they is too scared to look for that goddamn self? <laughs> it's like, but for real, get in contact with me, man. All social medias at one blaze Chris. One B L A S E C H R I S, and we out.